Hi everybody, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I'm just coming on to share a quick happy meal for my sweet friend Elise. Um, look at this adorable carrot paper that she made the envelope with. <clears throat> oh, look at this. <laughs> look at, it says egg hunt and the inside of it is all these little bunnies and chicks and little ducks. Oh, that is so cute, Elise. I love this paper. I don't know what paper that is, but it's sure adorable. And then look at this beautiful card. Oh my goodness. Isn't that adorable? Look at her coloring. It's so cute. She's such a sweet girl. And look at, she's got overalls on. I love overalls. I'm a gardener and I just, I grew up wearing overalls. I love overalls. Those are so cute. Oh my goodness. That is such a sweet image. Oh, that is adorable. Lisa, is this most digital pencil? trying to remember what you said. I saw when you made this card, but now I can't think who this is. Is it? Anyway, I'll have to go back and look at your video. Um, but this is just adorable. I love that. Oh, so sweet. Let me read what she says inside. Oh, thank you, Elise. Oh, that's very sweet. And you're, that's very much appreciated. Thank you very much for your beautiful words. Um, okay, that's, Almost makes me choke up, Elise. Thank you, dear. Um, oh, and look at, now I already peeked at this, but I just, I, I wanted to show you guys the full effect of what she sent me. <laughs> um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you know that I post a lot of um, pictures of my garden every summer and spring. And uh, I love to garden. Probably, mm, it's, it's uh, I don't know if it's equal to paper crafting. It might be more. I love being outdoors. I'm definitely someone who is connected with the earth. And uh, I just, um, it's probably one of my favorite things to do. But I just absolutely adore this, Elise. And um, I I know where I'm going to put this. So it's this is like a little stand like this. It stands up, you guys. And then she sent me this beautiful pair of garden gloves. And uh, I have to tell you, Elise, I go through so many gardening gloves. I literally garden so much that I actually wear through the fingers usually. And uh, that's what usually happens is is that the tips of my fingers wear through the cloth of the, of the gloves. Um, I have one really good pair of gloves that I use for rose pruning. <laughs> and that one is holding up pretty well. But, um, you know, I do a lot of uh, weeding and planting and, you know, and it just that you wear them out. It's just what happens. Um, but anyway, I, I will treasure this. And I love this little image of the truck on here with the vegetables in it. And uh, I'm hoping my garden go does better than last year. I had a bumper crop of blueberries last year, but a lot of my vegetables just, we just didn't have that great of a year. And a lot of other people where I live were struggling with their zucchini squash and different things last year. So I'm hoping it's a banner year this year for, for vegetables because um, that's my mainstay. I love growing vegetables um, and berries. So... Um, I will treasure this. I just think this is so adorable. And you are such a sweetheart. If you guys don't already follow Elise, she's Lisey46 here on YouTube. I will link her channel in the more section of this video. And uh, you have to go check her out. She makes incredible home decor and just does such sweet things all the time. Um, cards, tags. You will love her channel. So if you don't already know Elise, go check her out. Um, and then I have one more thing to share really quickly, you guys. Um, one of my dear friends... Uh, a couple days ago just had a little baby girl and so I needed a quick card and so I just threw a card together I used this pretty white lace I don't know where I got this but if you recognize this it might tell you um, oh it says Hobby Lobby so this was a Hobby Lobby purchase um, there we go um, this is a mama elephant stamp set called just hatched uh, you might remember this set from back in the day it's been around for a long time um, I love the sentiments in this set. It has the, it says, welcome, love you. Um, and then it has a hello up here. And then it has all these different uh, sentiments that, that you can use. And then for Easter time, it also has eggs, a little chick, um, and then a bird. And, you know, so just lots of different ways you can use this set. And I've seen some incredible cards with this over the years. So I use that. And then you guys might remember that um, I love the, the Whittle craft die series from Poppy um, Stamps, or it's really, yeah, Poppy Stamps and Dies. And uh, this one is Whittle Cutie Rabbit style 2362. If you want to look this up, I got mine at Simon Says Stamp. 
and it's this bunny. And normally the Whittlecraft, they did a whole series of the dies where they're very tiny. They're like an inch, inch and a half or less. Um, and I've shown, if you go back on my Instagram feed, I showed, I think, the little eggs last year. Um, I made some Christmas tags with the reindeer, some stocking tags that had the Whittle reindeer on it. So um, if you're not familiar with the line, you can go to Simon Says Stamp and you can find them there. Um, or you can go to the Poppy Stamps um, website. But um, this bunny is so cute, and I'll show you the die itself. And I just love that these have um, these little hash marks that cut into the paper. So let me show you the card I made. Oh, I have one other die to show you. So I purchased, when I saw these, I got very excited about the bunny just for Easter and also just for baby cards and different things. You can, you know, this bunny is just adorable. You can use it for so many different things. And then I also saw this die, which is called Whittle Cutie Dog, and it's 2315. And um, this one also just touched my heart because my girlfriend has a dog that uh, looks just like this when she curls up to lay down. And uh, so I wanted to get this and be able to use it for cards for her and her sweet dog, Emma. So um, I got that one too. So, and there are other ones. I can't remember what other ones they've come out with. I think there's a cat too, and I forget. But um, anyway, it's a really neat line, and I really like the dies, and they make beautiful cards. So I'll show you the card that I made. Again, this is for a baby girl, and uh, I, I'm not wild about this brown ink, but I tried a bunch of different colors, and I was having problems with the ink pebbling up a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but it just doesn't look, it looks mottled sort of, and I didn't like that. So I finally tried it with brown and it worked. Um, I tried it with actually this color, kind of a brownish uh, tan color, but it was still modeling. So I had to go with a darker color and I'm not 100% wild about the brown with this particular card, but I think it'll work for my for my needs and uh, I don't have enough time to do anything else anyway, so it's gonna have to do. <laughs> but I think it's a beautiful card and that bunny really does steal the show. It's so pretty and I just stacked it a couple times to give it some dimension on here and I added just a cute little pink bow that I had in my stash. So, and then this gingham, if you're wondering, this micro gingham um, is a product from Amuse Art Studio. And uh, I, th I think they still sell this, but I'll show you. You get it in a pack like this, and um, it's a whole bunch of different colors. And really quick, I'll show you. Um, you can go to their website, and I think she still sells this because it's a very great uh staple to have so if you've never seen it before it's just a bunch of different colors pink orange yellow green uh, a darker green and then a light blue and then a darker blue and then some brown and black so it comes with uh, you know enough colors just a rainbow of colors that you can do different things with so um and uh i got this stack actually when they still had a store here in seattle so um, I'm slowly making my way through the pack, but um, it's neat because you can get four cards from a sheet, which I just love. So that is it for today. A little baby card uh, for Sweet Amelia. And, um, and then these two new dies. And of course, the beautiful Happy Meal from Elise. So thank you for watching, you guys, and I'll be back with you soon. Uh, I hope that uh, everybody will come together for Saturday Morning Makes this weekend if you have time. But I understand if people can't because it is a holiday weekend. It's Easter. And um, I understand if people are having, you know, celebrations and stuff with family. Um, so no worries if nobody joins in. It's no big deal, okay? Everybody, if I don't see you for Saturday Morning Makes, please have a very happy Easter. Um, and enjoy this beautiful spring, okay? Blessings and hugs. Bye now.